Um, yeah, so Peace on Earth Song. This is how I made my dancehall reggae beat. We can tap into our DNA through disciplines in this way of life. And this is why Rastafari take this way of life. Because the way of the world is not the way of nature. The way of nature is the way that is right. The way of man is the way of miscalculations and confusion. Yeah, so in order to chart the real way of life through the mystic of nature, because after all, we are put here by nature, made by nature. You know, you know, Rastafari is just a way to connect to nature, you know? Um, this week's challenge to make a dance hall beat. Um, yeah, for me, I actually made a few different beats this week. And um, I, I was telling the E the other day, I actually had settled on a whole completely different beat that I would love to play one day. But um, I went back to this one just because I felt like it had a little bit of a warmer vibe to it. I chopped up a bunch of different vocal samples that I really liked from you know a lot of different just West Indian, Jamaican inspired, um, you know, places. So I just wanted to make sure I kind of captured the vibe. And the idea was just to make something that just felt really authentically dancehall. So for the rhythm, I wanted to, I knew I only wanted to have two elements because that's mainly most from melodic point of view, most dancehall beats have just two melodic elements, usually a chorus and then just like the regular um, verse. And then I also wanted to make sure the drums and the bass all accented it so it really wasn't too complicated i mean a lot of these rhythms you heard a lot before so mainly for me it was just getting the right sound that sounded um the best and also finding the best uh tempo bpm was really big for me this week i went from a high 100s all the way down to 90 which is where i landed so that was all different very challenging so when I play the beat here, you can see. Okay. 
Those chords that I started off with were kind of like the main uh, inspiration for the melody. Very simple um, stabbing chords. I throw the threw the bass line in there, and I I brought the bass line uh, really hot into the beat. Normally, I let my bass line sit down kind of in the middle, but this being a dance hall beat, I wanted it to make it really really strong. So I used. Um, I used a little thing called amp, which is a simple, where is it? Oh, actually I didn't use amp on the bass, I lied. But um, I did EQ it. Oh yeah, here, I, here it goes, here's amp. I did use amp on the bass. So I used the little VST I called, it's called um, Viking Synthesizer. And uh, what I like about this VST is that I get a very clean bass sound from it. So if I want the bass to be into a in a track, but I don't want it to be have a distinctive sound, I just want the the, the feeling and the inner energy of bass without having a, like a distinct bass sound. I like this Viking synthesizer because it gives me a pure bass note, and I amplified it with this um, soft tube amp thing. So I, it ended up sounding like this. Real straightforward, and it just accented the chords that were already there. And right there, you can see the notes that are um, making up the chord. This particular VST is called um, Take Piano, and I like it a lot because it has a lot of cool um, piano sounds, but very good, um, like lo-fi electronic piano sounds, but not corny piano sounds, very like haunting and cryptic and dark, cool sounding pianos. And I went through a bunch of different ones and I don't know, this one just felt, it felt fun. When I put it with this melody and these chords in particular, it felt kind of tropical to me. That's why I went with it. So yeah, I've been learning a lot and trying to use the VSCs and stuff to help me with chords and whatnot because um, I'm not the best with chords. So once I got the chords, threw the bass line in, then it was the drums. And there's a couple of interesting things about the drums. The main, the main drum sample is a, a pretty basic dancehall reggae beat. But then I threw on something else that was pretty interesting. Um, I found this great uh, drum pack of of like natural sounds that a guy made in his in his uh, like kitchen, and they're and they're just really cool. Uh, so yeah, I that's basically my beat. I just threw all that together. Um, shout out Buju Bantan for uh, hopping on the track. You know, I had to call him up real quick, and he said, "No problem, I got you." And then um, I also called up Sizzler, you know, Sizzler hooked me up with, a, with some vocals too. Yeah, Sizzler had to come through and bless me with some vocals. And the final clip was from Belly, just because I feel like it's just a funny, that's just a funny scene in Belly, when DMX gets like completely corrected by the, by the hardcore, like Jamaican rude boy. Good what time, hold on, hold on. You're coming to my house. That was just fun. So yeah, that's the beat. And that's how I made it.